Catherine Gray and I'm a Boise printmaker. Welcome to my garden for Art in the Garden. Uh, I mostly specialize in lino cuts. This is one I'm in the middle of working on. I draw the design on linoleum and then I carve it out and I'll roll ink across the surface and eventually I will press that into a handmade mulberry paper which will transfer the design. For most of my pieces I then go in and hand color it with watercolor. So this is one of my finished originals. Uh, it is 32 by 24 inches and $449. It's of a pair of quail and I carved out everything that isn't the black ink, rolled black ink onto the block, and then I went in and watercolored in the whites, the pinks, and the blues. Um, I really like how the texture of mulberry paper works with the watercolors and the block printing, so I use it for most of my pieces. another large lino cut. These big pieces are the upper size of what most printmakers do for block printing. Um, I print them by hand because of the delicate nature of mulberry paper, so it takes a lot of work and a lot of time. Um, with this piece, I carved out everything that isn't the white, and then I rolled white ink onto the block and pressed it into a gray mulberry paper. It's 20 by 36 and is $284. subject in Boise. It's uh, 36 by 14 inches and is $349. Again, with this one I carved out everything that isn't the black ink, printed in black on a white mulberry paper this time, and then all the colors I went in and watercolored. This one I did after a trip to Baja, California, where I was lucky enough to get to swim with a uh, whale shark, which is quite an experience if you ever get the chance. Um, I carved out everything that isn't the white on this one, printed white ink onto a gray mulberry paper, and then I went in and watercolored in the darker gray and the teal. It's 36 by 10 inches and is $249. So unlike the larger pieces, the smaller pieces I've gotten matted, and if you live locally, um, I can have you pick them up or I can deliver them matted, or if you live somewhere else, I can mail them in a mailing tube or matted, depending on your preference. Um, this one is of a mountain lion. It's 20 by 30 inches, $169, and I carved out everything that isn't the black on this one, printed in black ink on a brown mulberry paper that has a lot of texture in it. And then I went in and I watercolored the turquoise, the red, and the white. This one is called Alpen Wildflowers, and it's 20 by 26 and 169. This one I did a little differently. I carved out everything that isn't the black or the green, and then I rolled black ink onto the top of the block green ink onto the bottom of the block, and then I went in and uh, watercolored the blue and the yellows and the reds of the wildflowers. With this piece, I carved out everything that isn't the light green. I printed on a dark brown mulberry paper, and then I went in and watercolored the yellow flowers. Um, it's 18 by 24 inches and $124. This landscape I did in uh, Pima Canyon near Tucson, which is an incredible spot. Um, again, I did a similar process as I did with uh, the Alpen wildflowers. I rolled a dark purple ink along the top of the block, green ink along the bottom of the block, and I kind of got a rainbow roll in the middle, which just means that it transitions smoothly, and then I go in and I watercolor in the pinkish reds. Um, this one is 18 by 24 and $124. This landscape is uh, uh, near Swan Falls, um, kind of by CUNA. Um, it's a beautiful landscape of the Snake River. 
I carved out everything that isn't the dark brown, printed in the dark brown ink on a brown mulberry paper and then I went in and water colored different, um, different, uh, darknesses of the teal. It measures 18 by 24 inches and is $124. This piece of pronghorn is one of my very favorites, and I just finished it. I'm so pretty excited. Um, I carved out everything that isn't the black with this one, printed black on the bottom of the black and teal, or kind of a turquoise along the top, and then I went in and watercolored in the white. Uh, it's 18 by 24 dollars and a oh, no, 18 by 24 inches and 134 dollars. This one is of Orca, um, near the San Juans. It measures 18 by 24 inches and I don't know the price tag on that one. Uh, <laughs> when I upload the photos at the end, I'll have all the information. Um, I carved out everything that isn't the black ink and then I watercolored in the greens and the blues with this piece. Here's another quail piece if you fell in love with the bigger one but didn't have enough wall space. Um, with this one, I carved out everything that is in the black, printed on a white mulberry paper, and then I watercolored in the yellows and the greens and the browns. And it's $109. What was the dimensions? Eight, 18 by 24. And um, this is of a chicken. I carved out everything that is that um, was in the black rolled black ink onto the block, pressed it into an off-white mulberry paper that's got a lot of texture to it, and then I went in and painted the reds and the yellows. It's 16 by 16 and $74. This one is one of my newer pieces as well, of a bison skull um, that's been decorated with Indian blanket flowers. Uh, I carved out everything that isn't the turquoise with this one, rolled turquoise ink onto the block, pressed it into a dark blue mulberry paper, and then I went in and watercolored the whites, the reds, and the yellows. It's 11 by 14 inches and $94. One more original. Um, this is of prickly pear blossoms, and I carved out everything that isn't the dark green, printed on a light green mulberry paper, and then I went in and watercolored the reds and the oranges. Um, it's 11 by 14 as well and $84. And then I wanted to just let everybody know that I also have uh, 8 by 10 reproductions of any of the originals. Um, you can message me and I can send you photos of different matting options. Uh, I can do pretty much anything you like and it's a nice standard size for cheap matting framing. Um, I also have cards available. I'll have packs of five listed on the event page as well. Um, thanks for listening.